and then I'll show you just a few pictures of the campus and we'll spend a few minutes on cost and we'll wrap up. So this would be an overview of the campus. Again, the middle school off to the left, the shared kitchen and, and resources in the middle, the high school and its three-story classroom wings, and then the physical education and athletic center. The playing fields would all be near Dorset Street with appropriate netting. We keep getting questions about foul balls on Dorset Street. Um, another thing that we liked about moving the, the campus back to the east side is that this allows us, we don't have drawings on here of our current schools. It allows the academic program to go on uninterrupted in the current buildings without having to put kids in trailers, um, without having to have kids in buildings that are being renovated with dust and noise and electrical problems and those things. It allows us to just kind of keep going while all these will put up a fence and those buildings can be built. Now there are challenges obviously for the athletics program. Right, right. Um, Fields are going to yeah, be. Pat Burke yeah. and Mike Jabour are working really hard already with St. Mike's and UVM and Tree Farm and other places and their idea is to find a home for each of our sports for the years that this is under construction and we'll have a plan in place for those by the time we would break ground. Yep. So this would be the middle school entrance, um, one concept for it. The high school entrance, the Physical Education and Athletic Center, and it looks really short again because we're taking advantage of the natural features of the property to kind of drop it down a level. This, just a couple of pictures of the potential for the inside. This could be what the middle school dining commons could look like. This is called a Heller Upstair. It's kind of these wide bleacher stadium seating almost that kids in other schools have really found a nice place to eat lunch. They can be used for all grade meetings. So they can fit over 100 people and you can have a, a full grade, a full team in there uh, to have a meeting. This is what our theater could look like. We're aiming for about a 750 seat theater. Mm -hmm. We only have about 445 now for our, our, our size of 925 students. So that would be about 500 seats on the floor and 250 in the balcony, which also opens up more opportunities for community groups who might want to use this for performances, who can't really use our current space very well because it doesn't have enough seating. Um, this is a potential look for the inside of the Physical Education and Athletic Center. There would be one competition basketball court, which could be covered over for other events, and then the others would be the same rubberized surface as the track and the infield. These bleachers would be able to be pulled out over the end of the track yep. for big events and would seat about 1,100 people, which means that not only can we, um, can we host all school assemblies, which we have trouble doing now, we can bring graduation back onto campus, which has been a thing that the community has really hoped for for a long time.